everybody. Yes, I'm back. Sorry, I haven't been posting anything for like about a month or two. Just didn't have any content ideas. And I had a bunch of schoolwork to do, state testing happened and everything. Also, sorry, I'm, my throat's a little scratchy today. So if I sound a little weird, that's probably it. But, um, thank you also just saying we hit, um, I may have already said this in one of my other videos, but we hit, um, 100 views on my Skylanders leak video. Well, not leak video, I probably shouldn't have called it leak. I should have just called it the Skylanders News. Sorry for the kind of clickbaity title. About how Activision bought, I mean, Microsoft bought Activision. Also buying Skylanders. Tech, you know, because Activision owns Skylanders. But thank you for all the support on that, but you already know the title of the video, so you already know what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about why I love Skylanders. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm probably going to think that you already, you also love Skylanders. And you already know a thousand reasons why you love Skylanders. So, before I start, I want you guys to put in the comments below, um, some reasons you guys love Skylanders. And I'll try to respond to most of them. <laughs> and give them a heart and everything. So, let's start. My, my, I'm going to start with all the different characters. I love how you can play as so many different characters. And that you can play from, in, in newer games, you can play from characters from past games. That's so great, because they could have made it. So, oh, you want to play as Spyro in Swap Force? You have to get the new Spyro, um figure you can't play the old spider figure but they didn't do that which i love so much because if they did do that it would be very annoying because then a bunch of little kids would be like "Ooh, that figure looks cool that it's from a different game but i think it'll work <laughs> so I, I really like that aspect about all the different characters you can play as in every different game i'm pretty sure not not different figures but just like 196 different actual characters. I'm not, uh, that's just counting like different characters out, because or anything. Um, I just love everything about the characters and everything. Now let's talk about the non-playable characters. Non-playable ha characters have to actually be really good in this type of game because the actual playable characters can't have a character development. And I think they just nailed the non-playable characters. Like, Flynn, perfect. Kelly, everybody doesn't really like Kelly. I think she's okay. Of course, I like Tessa more, because she has more character development. Buzz, he's great. Chaos, he's awesome. I love his story arc in Supercharges, where he joins you. It's so good. I just love how they actually gave him uh, an actual story arc. Even though I love him and basically everything. Um, what, what are some other characters? They're not, there are no characters I really, really don't like. Like, even in Trap Team, I liked basically every single Doom Raider. The Golden Queen was kind of annoying, but she's not that bad. Um, of course, with the figures, I love how, I love how there's figures and you don't just buy the, buy the characters as DLC. Because now I have, like, a physical thing. Because I love collecting stuff. I have a lot of Funko Pops and a lot of coins. <laughs> I collect coins and Funko Pops and Skylanders. Um, so that's one of the things I love about the game. Of course, nostalgia. I bet you like half the comments when people comment what, why they love Skylanders. Half the comments is going to be nostalgia. Because why wouldn't it be? Um, I love, right now, of course... I love the community around Skylanders. I love how everybody's posting a lot, aside from me. And Crypt Crusher, I guess. What are you doing, man? It's been five months. I think you're dead. That's how the internet um, thinks when you're popular and you haven't done anything for a couple months. They think you died. It's not like you're taking a break or anything. No, immediately dead. <laughs> and when you come back, they're like, you're an alien or something. I don't know what happened. How you come back from the dead, tell me your ways. <laughs> but, back to what I was talking about. I just, um, love all the different games. I love every story. Except, do I, is there a story I really don't like? Because, I love basically every story from every game. I haven't finished, um, Spire's Adventure. 
I, I basically know the premise of it. So, and that the story is pretty fun. Giant stories, great. Same thing with Swap Force Trap Team. I stream the game, so go check that out. Pretty sure I have some Trap Team gameplay too. I think it's on the Flynn level in the background right now. I'm pretty sure. Um, Trap Team's great. Supercharged is great. Imaginators. Okay, the story isn't that good, but it's not that bad. People hate on the story way too much. It's supposed to be a kids' game. Okay. Um, I love how there's, I already said this, but I have to say it again just because it's so good, great. I love how there's so many different characters. Um, I love all the different gimmicks, like, even in Superchargers. I don't really mind racing that much. I kind of like it. Now I can play a version of Mario Kart where I can play as Chaos. It's win-win, right? Another thing I love about Skylanders is how I got the, uh, land racing trophy that's like $60 now for like five bucks out of the packaging like a couple years ago so I got Wham Show for a dollar fifty like a couple months ago to a year ago yeah just flexing um I love how they this is a little thing but little things go a long way for me um a character called Sunburn never got an extra character never got a uh, repose never got anything you probably already know that though they still update their character icon in the little in the corner. They do that for every single character, even if they don't have a repose in it, for every different game. And I love it so much because it's just the little things that matter, like that. Like, if you think about all the different unique powers. I don't think there's a single Skylander unless it's like a, like a repose, um, like two different reposes. Like, oh yeah, big bubble pop fizz and big bubble um, birthday bash pop fizz are gonna have the same move set, but. No skeletons have the same exact moon set. Unless they're like reposes or light core versions of it. And there might be like one Skylander that two Skylanders have the same exact moon set. But I don't think there is. Sorry, my voice is getting all scratchy. So that that's another thing I like. There's like so many different Skylanders. I think there's a hundred hundred ninety something. Not different figures, just different playable characters. It's so great. Um, I would, ha I uh, love everything basically about the game. I love basically every single level. There are a couple levels that I hate playing. You know, there are a couple levels that you're like, oh, I hate this so much. It's so annoying. Or there's like a glitch in it and it just won't work, and you're like, oh, come on, come on. But aside from that, I basically love almost every level. I have to start replaying the. Uh, games a lot more, but I love basically every level in these games, and they're just great. I, there's, no, there's no other word for it at this point, they're just great games. I love basically every story, I love how you can collect the figures of basically all the characters. Um, the only character I don't like, I don't even think there is a character I don't like. Yeah, there's a character I don't like. I just love all the stories. I love, you know what I really like? I really like how Giants, um, like, I really like the Giants story. Everybody said it's like an expansion to the Spider's Adventure. It's still like a 10 hour game, right? 5 to 10 hours? It's a long game for a ch children's game. That's like if you're trying to, like, not, like, just kind of, I really blow through the levels. You know, I'll tell you one thing I don't like about the game. Um, when you try to get max achievements and there's like, oh, finish this level in under five minutes, I'm like, what do you mean? It took me 20 minutes to do this. I'm just trying to have fun. What do you, I'm not a speedrunner. What are you trying to make me do? Come on. I'm not Dream from Minecraft. But, again, that's probably, that's basically everything I love about this game. That I, that I probably, I probably already mentioned this in basically every video. Uh, on basic, uh, in a lot of different videos about stuff I love. I just wanted to make a video about everything I love about Skylanders. I'm also, I'm, again, I'm sorry for the dry patch of may not making any content. Again, tell me what you love about Skylanders in the comments, and see you later, and goodbye.